current teammates, again, how does that feel going into that familiarity? Well, he was at my dinner yesterday, so we got a chance to top it up. And I mean, me, me and BB, we've been talking consistently. I've always said if I get the opportunity to play with him again, it's going to be, I mean, a show. I feed off him, he feeds off of me. And BB is a little quiet. I'm more outgoing, so just expect me to bring him out of the shed a little bit more. Terry, you know, growing up in Florida and then going to Alabama, there's obviously a standard that you've had uh, throughout your whole career. Can you talk about what you are bringing to the Lions? Uh, either be phenomenal or be forgotten. I'm not here to be forgotten, so that answers that question. What did you learn during that four games that you were sad at the beginning of the season with Alabama? The, f the first four games this year? Uh, when you got sat down there. Oh, when I got benched. Yeah, when you got benched. Oh, I, mean, I just learned perseverance. I mean, so I was like, even like the draft today. I mean, you know, you expect the unexpected. People want to go high, and uh, obviously just sitting in the green room, they asked me, did I want to go and sit back there with Roger Cadell? I was like, nah, man, I'm in my moment. I want to be around my people. And, you know, everything happens for a reason. Uh, God got me here for a reason, and I say for such a time as this, we're going to go win a Super Bowl in Detroit. Welcome to Detroit. Yeah, you the, the techniques at Alabama. You're going to be asked to play a lot of man coverage in Detroit. Do you have a preference of being pressed up a little bit more, or do you like playing a little bit off when you play a little more out of base? Nah. In your face, all game, that's what I do. Hit the shut people down, man. That's why I came here. Well, that's why they got me here. Uh, my family is everything. They pushed me, they drove me, and uh, even them being here with me today, we shared this moment together, and I wouldn't be nothing without them. What's it like? He said, "How what?" How far in advance did you know you were going to grab that mic on the stage? Oh man, I, I I didn't think I was going to grab the mic on the stage. But when they started chanting, it just kind of took me over, you know. In life, sometimes we have to play off script. It was one of those things I had to do that. Terry, well, tell us a little bit about your draft day fit. Oh, hold on, hold on. What you say about my song? <laughs> Yeah. It means everything. And, uh, the interview that I had to come out with my mom, that's why I put it in the song. Just a testament to everything I've been through. And then, you know, the rest of the lyrics, they speak for itself. So everybody need to stop what they're doing right now. And uh, use all this right here to uh, go look at my song on YouTube. And it's going to be streaming on uh, Spotify and Apple Music on Monday. But crazy story was, yeah, I'm going to just take it over now. Crazy story was, how much time I got? <laughs> right. Crazy story is, look, I actually was supposed to walk out of my song during the draft, but I didn't have the copyright license or whatever. So, yeah. Hey, what's your YouTube channel? Terry Arnold. Makes sense. Yeah, thank you. Terry Arnold. You said what? Is that going to be your artist name? Nah, it's just going to be an abbreviation of Terry Arnold, so it'll be T.A. Hey, Terry, this front office just rewarded two of their first draft picks. Uh, I'm going to say Brown and Penesul as the highest paid players at their position. What's that mean to you and, and your uh, the future Lions draft picks tomorrow and, and Saturday um, going into a team like that? It just shows when you get drafted here, it's just not one of those things where you just get picked. You could be here, you could uh, develop a long-lasting relationship, and they're here to keep their players and uh, make their players happy. So with them doing that, that's just a the program, but also a testament to the hard work that the players have put in. Hey, Terry, I know the Lions have been drafting some Alabama players. Did that create more enthusiasm for you? That, hey, I want to join some of these Alabama players on. And Nick's playing for Nick Saban's great now. They could have a run with the new coach. I would have to use that as a testament to Brian Branch. Just me being there every day at Alabama and just watching him and the way he developed versus when he came here. And everybody was like, wow, like we got us a great player. He's always been like that. So with him being able to come in here, play fearless, play with that chip off his shoulder and that type of swagger, I mean, it just shows the DNA and uh, the development of the Lions system. They allow like you to play free. They bring you in here to do what you're supposed to do. Great. Thank you, guys. Thanks. What was like there to get back out and take care of black girl? Come on, man. Black. What you mean? <laughs> 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 Thank you, Hey, who made your suit? Hey, sir, who made your suit? Hey, Tarion, who made your suit? It's really nice. Gents Playbook, man. It was styled by Charity Love. Very nice, man. Very nice. All right. All right.